reveals her agony tonight on Facebook Live. She is the only survivor after police say her ex husband shot and killed five people, including her three young children. Sheriff investigators say that he also shot and killed his ex wife's new boyfriend before then ultimately turning the gun on himself. All of this happening in Ponder, Denton County, and that is where we find our Jason Allen. Jason, the woman said tonight that she tried to warn a judge her ex was mentally unstable. Yeah, and she did this, Kaylee, tonight from her hospital room. She said with a bullet that had come in through her back and was still lodged inside her shoulder. She, she turned to Facebook to talk about this, just basically saying she wanted to find a way to connect with everybody and really didn't know where else to turn. Uh, now, Amanda Simpson had moved here last fall to this neighborhood uh, after filing for divorce. She and her ex husband, she had, they had three young children together, and she said in her video that was just recorded here in the last hour that she had talked with her ex yesterday. She Said he wanted to get back together and he wasn't happy that she wasn't going to go along with that. Now, my colleague, Marianne Martinez, spoke with one of Simpson's co workers here in the last hour who said Simpson had told her ex that her new boyfriend was going to move in here with her. So her ex was supposed to pick up the kids this morning, but was late. A couple hours later, Simpson called into work to say that she had been shot and that her children were gone. And I made it very clear to the judge that he was mentally unstable. And they didn't listen. So now I don't have my babies. The medical examiner tonight has not confirmed the identities yet of those three children, or the ex husband, or the other man, her new boyfriend, who was shot and killed inside this house. Live tonight in Ponder, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.